everybody, it's Sherry with Cards and More by Sherry. I am sticking my toe in the art journaling world today, which is completely foreign to me. And I'm trying to go along with the Nano Jomo, uh, which stands for National Nonstop Journaling Month. Um, some of my fellow Craft Shack design team members and I are trying to do this together and we're sort of doing our own little prompts. Um, today is flowers and I thought, okay, I can do this easy in 15 minutes. <laughs> I was so wrong. I'm working in a Canson mixed media book here and I'm starting out with some Dilutions ink sprays. Um, trying to get me a little sky thing happening here. Adding some texture with some bubble wrap. I'm going to come in also with um, my bubbles stencil, which is probably my favorite stencil right now. Just because it like goes with everything. I mean, you can't go wrong with circles, right? So I had this weird little like field gold thing happening in the middle. So that's why I sprayed it and plotted it again to try to... It still kind of looks like a wishbone or something in the middle. So I'm going to do a little ghost stenciling here, spraying water through my stencil and then blotting it up because it'll pick up that Dilutions ink since they are uh, water soluble, water based, water whatever. <clears throat> so that gives some nice texture there and I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So now I'm going to come in on the bottom and do some greens. Got the darker green, and then I'm trying here in vain to get the lime green to spray. I don't think I've ever used this spray before, so I don't know why the sprayer doesn't work. Uh, but as you can see, I'm not going to let it deter me. I'm just going to start smearing some stuff on there. And yes, I'm trying it again, thinking now it magically might work, and it doesn't. <clears throat> so I just add some on there with the um, stem from the sprayer, spray some water on there. Swish it around back and forth. Add some yellow thinking it was going to be too dark, which was a mistake. Because then I have to come back in with the darker green because it was way too light to be, to look like grass anyway to me. So I come back and hit it with that darker color. <clears throat> I'm going to try to give it a little bit of a dry here. And drying, as you'll see is what the biggest thing that caused me to not make it through this in 15 minutes uh i guess from what i used i don't know this is another stencil i really like this i think it's called flower medley or something like that again just doing the ghosting technique spraying water through it and then picking up the ink where that water has hit it and i'm <laughs> Starting to flip out already because of how dirty my hands are getting, which is another indication that perhaps art journaling is not for me uh, because it bugs me when my hands get that dirty. <clears throat> okay, so I'm really happy with this background, and I should have just stopped here and said, you know what? I used a flower stencil. Flower was our prompt. I'm good. I can stop now, but no, I kept going. i um, going to take just a little bit of white gesso here and pounce through that um, bubble stencil because I want those circles to show up a, a little bit more pronounced. So I'm just using gesso to give some white, bright white highlights here. I squeezed out way too much gesso on my tile. That That's just a plain old ceramic tile that I'm using over there. Makes a great paint palette because then you can just wipe it off. <clears throat> All right, so here's where the whole project basically starts going south after I get this dry. Like I said, should have stopped here. I like the background. I like the colors. Uh, but as always with me and mixed media, I don't know when to stop. <laughs> so I keep going. So I grab some distress paints and I think, okay, they have the little dauber tops. I can make flowers with these circles and carry on the circle theme. Great idea, right? Yeah, in theory, but I can't get this stuff to dry for some reason. I don't know. I guess I've squeezed out too much paint. I don't know what the deal is. And I'm thinking, okay, I really want this yellow to dry. These are going to be the centers of my flowers um, because I don't want it to the paint to mingle with the colors I'm going to use for the petals. Yeah, you know, that saying about best laid plans of mice and men or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, 
So I'm just going to go with it. Try to put some petals on here. Hope I don't make mud with my paints. Yeah, here I go. Kind of almost looks like Mickey Mouse in a little in a little ways, but you get the idea. The yellow is the center of the flowers, and and the uh, magenta, and the in this case the pink. That's the petals, right? Okay, great idea. Simple, easy, quick. Yeah, again, back to the dry drying problem. <clears throat> I spent forever trying to dry these things. And finally, just had to roll with it. Here, I thought I'd be, you know, fancy schmancy and use two colors for the petals. Like that happens in nature. <laughs> well, I suppose it does, but not this deliberately. You know what I mean? So here's where things went really, really bad. I'm going to use the green. Yeah, see it? Instead of just taking the top off and I was going to dab paint over there and paint with it. No, I twisted the whole flipping cap off and you see the result. Right there is a ginormous puddle of distressed paint on my craft mat. I'm glad I have this craft mat now. Uh, it's been properly broken with this project. So anyway, I'm just dipping into my accidental puddle of paint and painting some quick and crude stems and leaves. <clears throat> Still wondering how I'm going to clean up that mess there on my mat. But, you know, I'm just going to roll with it. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Look, I got my pinky up and everything like I'm all dainty and I know what I'm doing with the paint. <laughs> I'm not buying it, are you guys? <laughs> Kind of going over those stems again because I'm seeing a little bit of the background, especially on the right hand side, um, come through. Some like real rudimentary grass at the base of my stems. <coughs> Very, um, I, I would use the kindergarten, but my friends would admonish me and say, no, it's primitive art. So that's what we'll do. Trying to scoop up some of my paint mess there. I salvaged a little bit of it, but oh my. <laughs> It's okay. It's just paint and paper. I'm going to keep telling myself that. So trying to clean up, trying to clean up, trying to clean up because I'm not good with paint messes. And look, can you imagine I am out of time and I haven't even started trying to dry this stuff. So I'm drying, I'm drying, I'm drying. Then I think, well, I'll blot some of this off and I'll try to be real careful and not make a mess and not carry over paint. Dry, dry, dry. Yeah not working so I tried from the back side I don't know why I thought that would help so I tried to blot a little bit more and I accidentally yes I get pink in the middle of that one flower see so I decided to just embrace that and make it look like I meant to do that and get it all over the place and I'm sorry I have barking dogs in the background so I pulled out a black sharpie hoping this stuff is dry enough that I can outline it and for the most part I did okay. Uh, please understand I have sped this up quite a bit <laughs> to spare you the pain. And yeah, I stuck my head in the camera. I did have quite a bit of trouble with some of these outlining them. And then I took a green Sharpie um, to the leaves and the stems to try to give them a little, you know, doodly detail there. Uh, then I got out some paint pens here eventually I added some white dots to the petals and a green paint pen you'll see me pull it out and add a little bit down below where the grass is it really didn't show up too much <clears throat> but that's okay I still really like the background okay so yeah still not dry still not happy whatever so i'm going to put some words on the top here i'm going to put um, bloom where you were planted and i had to go over this numerous times to make it show up and i maybe should have come back in with a black marker and outlined it but the, at this point i'm just pretty darn frustrated with this whole thing a, that I couldn't get it done in 15 minutes. B, I made such a big bleeping mess. <laughs> and uh, C, yeah, I don't like it, but that's the way it goes. 
it's just paper, it's just paint, and this is how I learn. I have to keep telling myself that. Anyway, this is part of, anyway, Nano Jomo or something like that. I always want to call it Nana Boo Boo, but what? <laughs> I can't help myself. So thank you for suffering through this with me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, if nothing else, for comic relief. And I hope you'll come back and see me later. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.